Uganda is a beautiful country. Its 10 national parks are filled with diverse landscapes and famous animals such as chimpanzees, gorilla, giraffe, elephant, and lion. This is why many people love to come to Uganda. Every year, thousands of tourists from all over the world pass through Fort Porto. They are in search of the unique wildlife and nature that Western Uganda has to offer. Using support awarded by the Disney Wildlife Conservation Fund, 27 teachers from nine schools around Chibale Forest were given training and invited on trips into Chibale and Queen Elizabeth. These 27 teachers are in contact with 2,000 children during the school day. Rural primary school teachers are a vital resource in influencing children's attitude about the environment, but they face tough challenges. They teach classes of up to 200 children each. The curriculum is rigid and there's little training for conservation education. These trips let them see for themselves what they have to teach in the classroom and will be a valuable experience for many years to come. Our first trip was to the wetland sanctuary in Vigodi. Tourists are able to buy crafts made by local women and pay for a guided tour of the wetland. The money spent by tourists is reinvested into community projects. By allowing the community to benefit from conservation, it provides them with incentives to protect the wetlands. The wetland is a home of 200 species of birds, including the most famous, the great blue turaco. We were told that the people around we are told to, to keep that forest so that they could not destroy it but use it wisely. And that the forest belonged to them, so they, they, had, they were supposed to ensure that nothing bad is done to it so that it could help them in the future and their children that will come. We saw the tree house, it was built inside the, inside the, the, the swamp. We climbed up in that, in that house, trying to see, to observe, observe clearly the, the, the swamp. We show the red-tailed monkeys, they were there. I had a guide who was explaining how they feed, how they behave, and how they produce. Maybe you saw, you saw some, some. So I went, we, 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 we saw a variety of uh, animals uh, of uh, animals there. One of them was uh, the calabas monkey, which, which, which so interested me that it could, it, it was so caring. They could move and uh, while carrying the, those young ones, and they could breastfeed them. Yeah. It could move from tree to tree looking for food 
which, which, which is so interested me. Uh, I was very interested to see how people are living in, in that area. I didn't know that even people can can keep animals if they are if they are living near the what the national park. But I found there some activities are taking place. We also saw a bridge which was built with wood, so it, it, people used that uh, are using the, that bridge to get the heart, the path, because the the area was occupied by water. This is one of the best and most popular bird watching sites in the entire country. Without the swamp, this huge attraction of the tourists and the income they bring will be gone. Kafred, or Chiwala Station for Rural and Environmental Development, has been a large success due to the community involvement in conservation of the wetlands. Our next stop was Chiwala National Park for chimpanzee tracking. The forest is full of life. It is densely packed with trees and vegetation. Is 60 species of mammals, including 13 primates, and 335 species of birds make Kibale Forest one of the most popular places to visit in all of Uganda. We settled at the Kanyanchu tourist camp. Before we entered the forest, we were given a brief introduction. They told us that it, 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 would, not, it would not be very simple. To, to see those uh, chimps physically. Uh, we were asked to keep quiet so that we can observe them clearly. Uh, indeed, we walked through the forest. Uh, we had some guides and they were communicating. With, there are other guides who were there, who, who were looking, uh, who, were, who were trying to get where those animals were. <laughs> the chimp walking was very interesting. I saw the chimps. We had to track them. The tour guides helped us walk through the forest under the vines. I saw how the female was trying to carry her baby mm -hmm. and what interested me most was how they they behaved they are making calls and especially when they were climbing up the fig to eat the fruits yeah, that one interested me because I saw that their behavior was almost similar to human beings We found them in a big tree up and they were eating some fruits. And uh, one of the chimps, the female one, had, a, had a, a young one. It was there jumping up, playing, as others were eating the fruits. So we looked at them using the binoculars. So we spent there some time. It was my first time to see uh, to, to look at the chimp. Uh, I was hearing about the chimpanzees, the chimpanzees, but I had not seen, uh, seen it physically. Uh, here, the, the thing which surprised me and which made me happy is that uh, those chimps are behaving like human beings. First of all, they are not like other animals because for the chimps, they don't have a tail. Uh, Another thing, 
they told us that uh, they live in a community, they have a, 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 a leader which leads the community, and if another one comes from another community, they have a way how they can treat that one. If they want to mate, uh, there is a way how they mate. Yeah. So those are the things which made me happy. Mm. Yeah. I had been to the forest before, but I had not gone chimp tracking. Mm. I have used it in the classroom when teaching about uh, tourism, uh, how tourists come to Kibale Forest. They pay money to see those chimpanzees, and we tell the children that uh, they should try to, to keep those animals or safeguard them if they come to the village. They shouldn't kill them because they are a source of income to our country. Mm. Going that way, so that is the place to go. From Chibale Forest, we traveled south towards Moya in Queen Elizabeth National Park. Our first stop was to learn about the salt pans at Lake Katwe. For the Moya trip, uh, it was also interesting because we reached at the, the salt lake, which is known as Lake Katwe, and uh, I, 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 I was no, uh, it was my first time. To, to, to reach on that lake, but uh, it is not a lake like uh, other lakes because it has uh, salty water. And uh, another thing which surprised me is the way how they extract salt from that lake. Uh, so they make the salt pans with the, the branches of trees. Eh? They keep putting them on top of one, so they get a, a salt pan, and uh, they put their water. And when it shines, that water evaporates. As it evaporates, the salt keeps on making what? Some layers. Another thing which uh, made me happy, the, the, the person who told us the, the story about that lake, he told us that it is not the only lake which is found in that part, but uh, there are so many other lakes. We also went and we saw those lakes, but they are not getting salt from them because uh, the salt which is got from those lakes, it's not good as it which is got from Lake Katwe. <laughs> 